What's this? YouTube is investing $25 million into authoritative news? Wow, yes! Finally our efforts to bring non-partisan, accurate and important news to the people of YouTube have been recognised. In addition to YouTube promising at the start of the year to help boost the education side of YouTube, we should start seeing... Oh, we got, we got nothing. Okay, and I, and I thought Seven Days of Science was world-renowned. Okay, well... To start off this week's news, we are in a new age. Welcome! Geologists have classified the last 4,200 years of our history as the Megahalayan Age. This was marked by an international drought which crippled ancient civilizations worldwide. However, this move seemed controversial as many scientists are saying that this officially came about with not enough scientific discussion. In other news, it would seem that whalers in Iceland have killed a blue whale, the largest animal on the planet. Photographic evidence points towards the whale being a blue, but the whaling company says that it's confident that the whale caught is a hybrid between blue and fin. If they're right, then they could pass off the killer's mistake. But if it is indeed a blue whale, then the company would have broken Icelandic law. Also this week, some new material from an ancient member of the Homo genus was described. Found in Eritrea, this partial pelvis is between 1.7 and 0.99 million years old and provides some insight into human evolution, and more specifically, how the morphology of the pelvis changed over time in different human species. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of fibre optic cables. Thousands of them weave their way through the underground layers of many of our countries today. A new study says that heavily populated coastal regions in the US are at risk of losing their fibre optic access due to the rising sea levels. It says that over 4,000 miles of it could be lost by 2033, with the US cities in the most danger being New York, Miami and Seattle. Dolphins! They can dive nearly 1,000 metres deep and not suffer from the same decompression sickness that most animals would suffer from in that situation. New research that was released this week tries to explain this, giving reasons such as the way that the lungs of the bottlenose dolphins are structured and the management of bodily blood flow that means that dolphins can access oxygen and not bring in nitrogen that would cause the much feared bends. To finish off this week, 12 new moons have been discovered orbiting Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. This brings the total moon count of Jupiter to a massive 79. Nine of these moons are orbiting very high up and in a retrograde direction, meaning that they go in an opposite direction to Jupiter's spin, and two of them orbit closer to the planet and prograde. One of these moons has been described as a real oddball and has an orbit like none of the other moons of Jupiter and is probably Jupiter's smallest moon. Again, thank you so much for listening to this week's Seven Days of Science. I'll see you on Sunday for the final Things We Don't Know episode and then it's Shark Week.